this figure might be old hat already by now, but it's he's one of my favorite characters from back in the day, especially because around this wave you had, uh, I believe the Cobra Bat would have been out by then too, around the same year, and um, I don't know, just a lot of cool G.I. Joes coming out, like, you know, around this year, year before, and, you know, years to come, after afterwards or whatever, as I should say. But anyways, quick kick, man. Uh, big deal about this guy. I saved a bunch of pennies because we didn't have a lot of money at this point, you know? And I was a little kid, and I saved... I basically paid with this guy with a bunch of pennies at the store. I saved a ton of pennies, man. A pun, pennies and penny rolls, man, to get this figure. And um, it wasn't a lot of money back then, but if you're a little kid and you don't have any money and you're just scripting on change, and, you know, it takes a while to get that much change to get a, you know, figure that's a few dollars or a couple dollars or a few... Yeah, that would have been a few dollars, I believe so. But anyways, um, before we dip into this figure altogether... Um, we got to read from his own file right card. Here, so let's dip into it. All right, and here we go. Uh, code name uh, Silent Weapons. Code name Quick Kick. File name uh, Ito MacArthur S. Um, let's see. Primary Military Specialty Infantry. Secondary Military Specialty Intelligence. Uh, birthplace Los Angeles, California. Grade E4. Subjects: uh, Japanese father and Korean mother owned a grocery store in Watts. Not accepted by either the Japanese or the Koreans. Because of his mixed ancestry and too short to play basketball, quick kick turned to martial arts, all martial all martial arts. He is a ranking a black belt in Taekwondo, Goju Dyu, Southern Praying Mantis Kung Fu, uh, Tai Chi Sword, Zen Sword, and Wing Chun. He was uh, working as a stuntman in Hollywood when he was recruited for the G.I. Joe team, qualified expert all NATO and Warsaw Pact small arms. Here's the situation. You want to gain access to a fortified villa, 12 foot tall, continuous wall topped with razor spiral and only one gate through it. Two inch steel plate on the gate, two sandbag guards, guard houses um, with direct telephone link to the main house, four guards with submachine guns, two Dobermans and a silent alarm hooked to a dead man switch that one of the guards is leaning on at all times how do you do it ab quick kick hit it that's how and i thought that was pretty cool especially you know explaining that this dude can get over 12 foot walls man with ease with barbed wire and stuff like that basically and get through all those dudes it's it's, it's a badass man that's that is a badass and plus you know having been uh, you know born in the late 70s i knew all about bruce lee and this guy like pretty much kind of screamed bruce lee in a way so yeah i don't know cool cool figure man and yeah, we've got to bust him out. Here's a look at the side of the package, and here's the back package where it looks like he's going to face off with Storm Shadow, or he's got Storm or Storm Shadow stalking him, so to speak. And yeah, he's got I don't know. Yeah, he's got painted on apps and a little swoosh effect for his throwing star. So that's awesome. Number one sixteen in the bunch. Let's go ahead and uh, bust him out. And here him. he is. Uh, what he lacks in clothing, he makes up for in accessories. Man, he's got his two swords, which are rad. Closer look at those. That's pretty cool. I don't know if it's a snake or what at the end, or if it's like a like a cat's head or a lion's head or a tiger's head. Might be like a tiger head or something at the at the end of the handle or whatever. But yeah, not a bad sword, man. Feels nice. And same with his nunchucks. Same animal head. I don't know. It can't be a snake, is it? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. It might be. Anyways, comes with the chocolate bar, which is pretty funny. It's actually a pretty detailed little piece. Um, looks like um, something that would be referenced from the cartoon, I believe. They did really good sculpting on that, too. It's not bad. And then he's got his throwing star, which is like a, it has a blue swoosh effect, which is cool. You could have it, you know, coming from his hand, from his holding hand or whatever. And he's got his little backpack. Too, and then he's got another face head sculpt where it looks like he's kind of maybe chewing on that chocolate bar a bit, <laughs> which is pretty funny. And yeah, he's got his karate chop hands, got two of those, and two fists to do fisticuffs with. So that's cool. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get a closer look at him real quick. Let's see, man. Yeah, that's cool, man. Like, like the face sculpt, they did a pretty good job. He's got more throwing stars if he needs them. Nice paint apps on the side of the leg. Nice sculpt on the pants. 
Let's see, yeah, pretty cool, man. Pretty freaking cool. Pretty much standard articulation. I don't want to go into all that and make this longer than it needs to be, but yeah, I want to just basically get them accessorized next and posed up. Folks, and here we have Quick Kick enjoying his chocolate bar and throwing the shiny star or whatever, throwing a throwing star. <laughs> Oh, that's freaking funny, man. That's that's rad. <laughs> that's cool. I like this figure. He's rad. He's a little basic in some ways, but it's Quick Kick, man. If you if you don't know who he is, then yeah, that's 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 on you, man. <laughs> but for me, as being a little kid back in the day, yeah, this guy was rad. Freaking awesome. You got a storage for his nunchucks, which is cool, and his swords. And yeah, dude, don't bother me while I'm eating my Kit Kat, man. <laughs> Ready to take out a Cobra, dude, man. That's freaking awesome. That is freaking rad. I like it, man. I like this little effect. It's cool. It works. That is really cool. Freaking nice. Yeah, it's a rad figure, man. Really, really cool. Looking forward to uh, Night Creeper and Jinx, too. Those are going to be fun figures when they come out, man. Really looking forward to those. And, um, yeah, man, that's our little look at Quick Kick and my little nostalgic anecdote about him. Yeah, it's a good figure, man. Freaking good figure. Freaking really rad, man. Really rad. Go well with your Marvel Legends, too, man. I think, man. I really do. But anyways, uh, once again, uh, thanks for watching. Now, let me know if you like this figure or not, if you had not back in the day, or if you ever even heard of him. If you don't even know, let me know. Let me know in the comments. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt. It won't kill you. Anyways, uh, once again, uh, thanks for watching. Now, have a good one. All right, later.